What's up guys? So today in this video, I'm going to show you something new and exciting probably to most of you and that's to be able to add uh, more pages into the Pages Designer app in your Airtable app marketplace, uh, just in the Airtable app. So I hope you really enjoy this video. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we have business owners probably just like you help them optimize their information systems. So stuff like Airtable, Asana, Slack, as well as Zapier to connect all the systems really nicely, make everything sync up really well with some workflow automation. So without further ado, if you are interested in any services, you can check out the link in the description or request a consultation from me or some of my team. But without further ado, we'll get right in the video now. So to get started here, we are, I'm going to show you two things. So I'm one, just going to first show you how to add the page designer app, how to change the length, uh, if that's all you want, but there's going to be another, uh, hack and First of all, I want to give credit to Jen Rudd. Um, she introduced me to this uh, a while ago. And so credit goes to her for this solution, but I wanted to show all you guys so that more people could use it. So right in here, if you go over to your, if you're in your Airtable base, whatever Airtable base you already have, the page designer, you probably know that, uh, go to your app and apps, go to your dashboard that you wanted in and add your app. So you go to the page designer, maybe this is your pre-existing page designers, we'll just add this in dashboard one. And what you're going to do is you're going to do whatever you want for like configuring it. But before you get that, you'll see this right here. So you'll see settings, uh, the table deals, the record size, which right here says eight and a half by 11. And that's perfect. That's like one page, but that's just one page. So what you want to do is you want to come in here and click custom. Then when you click, click custom, you'll come in here. And so how many pages do you want? Just think about how many pages you want. So if you copy that, the these are in pixels. So like the pixels, it's like 927 pixels wide and 1199 pixels deep. So what you wanna do is, so say you want three pages, maybe four pages. So you can't have either or, you have to have one or the other, to my understanding. You need to type in uh, three times 1199 and then you'll get this number. So basically what you need to do is you need to multiply 1199 times the number of pages that you want. After you do that, then you can copy that number and you can bring it back over here and you can paste it in your pixels. So now this will make it three pages and I'll show you why you'll need the next uh, like hack in here to make this work really well. So after you do that, then you come in here and maybe I'll zoom out a little bit so that you can see more of this. So this is like one page and if you look at this, this is just one really, really long page. So obviously everything's zoomed out over here and maybe you wouldn't want this to just like print like this. Like how do you know where to start, where to end one page and start the next page um, and all of that. So that's what I'm gonna show you next. So this was again, still from Jen Rudd. She gets the credit for this. I'm just trying to help more people out with it. So don't mind the misspelling up here, but what you wanna do is, uh, I would suggest going to Canva. However, you can do this in like your native, like whatever you use to create uh, PDFs or images or anything like that. Go somewhere and resize like the, the letter or whatever that looks like to eight and a half by 11. Or you can do the pixels as well. And then what you wanna do is you wanna download those uh, PDFs. So you wanna download them like as images, I believe. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to download one of these. So I'm just going to download page two, which I actually already have downloaded. So I'm going to pretend like I'll download page two right there. So now we'll come back over here. And what you want to do is I have this image on my desktop I went like straight to my desktop. So now if I come in here, so it looks like first you have to make a, an, an image URL. So you have a few options here. You can upload the image to like a Google Drive, or you can just have it like in your workspace here. So say you have it like in a, in like an extra table down here, these are maybe like resources, or you just have like one base in your Airtable base that's resources. So this would be in like a resources base, and we would come in here and add the image in here. And what this is going to do is it's gonna put it in the cloud, that way you can get a URL. So then after you write that in there we can insert a few just to make this really easy for you to find the url what i would do is i would say this is url and this is going to be a formula and you'll just say attachments um, so if you already have this url then you won't need to do this part but what you can do is you can just copy that right there 
and you can come in here to your page designer. So what this is, is it's a public URL. So like if I pasted this in this right here, then I would be able to see that image. So now if we come back in here to our page designer and we go to settings, it'll expand that. So we have the custom size and what we can do is we can come up here and click edit layout, go to attachments. So we actually, I clicked on attachments. You need to click image and then for the image, you can press that. And now what you can do is you can click uh, fit there. And what you want to do with that is you want to bring it all the way up here to the top edge. And then you just want to make it as big as the page would be. So in these images, if you want to put in like the number there, I saw we just had a question in one of the Facebook groups about the numbering. So you can add that in here. And if we keep pulling this bigger and bigger, eventually you'll get it so it fits just right. And so obviously this isn't quite aligned on the left side over here, but you can play around with this. And if I now zoom out, hopefully this is three pages. So I can, yeah, so this one, if I now zoom back, maybe copy and paste that. So somehow you just need to add three images in here like this. So I'll zoom back in so you guys can see it, but add another image that is like the same exact thing with the same URL. And then you can add that starting right here and paste that and then drag this one really big. So we make it as wide as we can go and then pull it all the way down to about right there. And now you can see we have like two pages in here. So this isn't quite synced up there. So now that's right in line with everything we want. And it's actually, there's still a little gap over there, but now you can do the same thing and add another image right here, paste in your URL. And now you should have three pages. As long as you followed like the basic steps that I just showed you, you just come up here. So now say you didn't say you already have a pre-existing page designer app in here. You just come up here to settings and then you go to record size. So I'll zoom in on this for you guys. Uh, maybe a little bit more, but you come in here to record size instead of the letter, you ch choose custom and then you can edit the pixels in here and then just do that simple math that I showed you a second ago to get the right height based on the number of pages. And that's the reason why you can't make this dynamic based on like maybe how much record or how much information you're pulling in. Like the stuff is still going to be in, you need to always be making sure that you're having the right amount of space if because stuff is going to be variable when you pull it in so like if you have a long list or like a really long text field you don't want to put something like right below it so if i i don't have any i don't know that i have any good fields in here with this one but if i wanted actually i, I can't if i pulled in next steps i wouldn't want to put another field like maybe the website link like right here because that would overlap and like need an intro this could actually be longer and it could overlap. So just keep that in mind. It's not gonna be like dynamic, like you can't push. It's not uh, responsive. I think responsive design is like HTML, um, but it's not that flexible. But what this will allow you to do is will allow you to add extra pages in here. And next week, or well, not next week, sometime soon, I'm gonna show you an even better version than Page Designer, and it will use Zapier, and it will use a fun new way to do this, not using Google Docs, not using Page Designer, not using, well, we'll be using Zapier, but it's going to be automatic. It's going to give you PDFs in your like records over here. So if you're watching this well down the line, then go to my channel. You'll be able to find one. Uh, it'll be how to make PDFs in Airtable using Zapier automations. So look out for that, but hopefully, hopefully this was helpful. And now you can create multiple page multiple pages in a page designer app. And if you enjoyed this video, you're probably gonna enjoy the video right here in the middle. So this was probably new to you. This video up here also might be new to you. So if you're ever doing like yearly goal planning, maybe quarterly goal planning, Airtable just released a new view with the Gantt view. So I show you how to set that up from start to finish for a 90 day project planning in relation to like goals uh, with dependent and, and independent as well as some filtering of the different projects in your Gantt view. So I highly encourage you to go check out that end screen right there. I show you like from start to finish how to set it up for you and your business, for you and your personal life. Maybe you have personal goals for this quarter, for next quarter. 
So I highly encourage you to go check that out. But without further ado, I hope you have a great day. And without further ado, I'll see you there.